You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. I'm going to show an example and this is a very good example uh, in order to understand the uh, phaser and impedance. So let's see what is happening inside this circuit. So here we can assume that uh, uh, this is a virtual ground. So this is a, we connect this to the ground. And uh, we have uh, three kind of impedances here. So uh, the impedance for this resistor and for capacitor and inductor. So let's see what kind of impedances we have. I'm going to change the color. Uh, the first one is the capacity, uh, the resistor. So Z is equal to uh, R. So as you see here, uh, we are not change. We are um, as you see here, this uh, impedance is constant and it's uh, it doesn't depend on the frequency. So if we increase or decrease the frequency, it won't change. What about the other uh, impedance? The uh, impedance for capacitance. As we talked before, we said that uh, Z for ZC. I'm sure I'm showing this ZC is equal to j c and omega so uh, omega here is our frequency what is omega as you see it's four so uh, we showed previously uh, the input should be like this a cosine the amplitude cosine omega t plus uh, phi here this is the phase so omega is a uh, four here and what about the uh, the impedance for this uh, inductor z l this is equal to J L omega. So as you see here, uh, let's see what, what happens to these impedances if we increase or decrease the frequency. If we increase our frequency, the R will be constant, but what about the C? Uh, C will decrease because as you see, the omega is in the denominator. So if we increase it, uh, ZC will decrease. And what about ZL? If we increase the frequency, we're increasing omega, so we'll increase ZL. So let's see if we have really high frequency, what happens to the circuit. So we say we have really high frequency, omega is high. In this case, as you see, because the denominator for this one is high, so ZC in this case will become zero. It means that the capacitor will become short if we are going, if we increase the frequency. And uh, the ZL, what about the ZL? The impedance for this, uh, inductor will be a very high value so zl let's say high and uh, what about the, the what about decreasing frequency if we decrease the frequency it means that if we if the omega is very low we can also call this actually dc frequency because it's very low value so in this case the zc is exactly opposite of that the zc will be high it means that it's uh, actually open we can call this open and this is short. This is open too. And what about the impedance of uh, inductor in the low frequency? ZL will be equal to uh, more or less zero. It will be a low value, so we can call it, we can say this short. So let's uh, let's go and find the the output uh, voltage. It means the voltage uh, between two terminals of this inductor for the circuit. So first of all, we have to find the impedances. We can change this uh, circuit like this, as you see. So we write the phaser. This is the amplitude 20 and phase is minus 15, 60. And we have to find the impedances. How we can find this impedance? OK, 1 over J C omega. And this should be, uh, this is Z C. This is equal to uh, 1 over J times uh, our frequency for and the, the impedance here is uh, the sorry the capacitance 10 milli and if you calculate this uh, it should be minus j 25 and what about the impedance of this inductor zl is equal to j l omega so it's equal to j times our l is 500 and omega is 4 it's, it's going to be 20 j so how can we find the voltage here so uh, what kind of circuit we have uh, let's uh, let's change it a bit so here i'm i'm going to show this we can show it like this we have the we have the resistor here and then we have impedance here 
and uh, so here we also have the, our uh, voltage V so here uh, we can show this impedance as the parallel impedance of ZC and ZL so the parallel impedance ZL so uh, now let's let's see how we can uh, find the voltage here the voltage we are going to find here VOL here the VOL is the voltage between these two uh, this actually node so here uh, we have uh, we can use a voltage division VOL is equal to I'm going to show this is ZO this is ZO this is equal to ZO okay and uh, VOL is equal to ZO ZO plus 60 times the, the source voltage which is a uh, 20 with a phase of minus 50 so how can we find ZO first of all let's find ZO ZO is the uh, parallel uh, of ZC and ZL so it means that we will have uh, ZC times ZL and ZC uh, plus ZL so if you calculate this it will be 100 J and here now we can find VOL VOL is equal to 100 J and here uh, 100 J plus uh, 50 uh, sorry 60 times 20 minus 50 and uh, you have we have to find the uh, actually complex number for this and it's it's going to be 0 0.85 with the phase of uh, 31 and we have to just multiply it by the source which is 20 with a phase of minus 15 and at the end we will have 17.15 with the phase of uh, 16 here and if you change it to the cosine value we will have 17.15 cosine with the same frequency omega t4 t uh, plus 16 so as you see this is the output this is the voltage uh, between two terminals uh, of the inductor and the capacitor so as you see uh, we have the amplitude the amplitude changed a bit and also the phase changed is phase is now positive so uh, this is a very good example and we, we actually um, um, so we learned how to find the voltage, how to find the impedance uh, for a given circuit. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password and also you have to answer a security question and then you can uh, press the uh, register button uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website then after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to checkout and as you see click to enter your code you can put the the coupon code here and then apply the coupon so then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see you won't pay anything for this course Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies it covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career your first step to take the prerequisite course RAH RF101 which we have provided the free coupon for it RFPREREQ101 -E -E see you there shortly